Good evening. A truck driver is behind bars tonight after police say he was driving while high on meth with two young children unsecured in his cab. State police stopped a semi at the northbound way station in Laurel County for a safety inspection. 37 several charges, including DUI, carrying a concealed deadly weapon and endangering the welfare of a minor. KSP also arrested the mother of the children, 27-year-old Samantha Wittenberg. Monique Blair spoke with Icorn in a story that's first on Fox. 37-year-old Will Icorn is lodged here at the Laurel County Detention Center facing several charges. But he tells me he didn't do everything exactly how police said he did. Kentucky State Police say on Thursday morning they stopped a Freightliner tractor trailer on I-75 at a way station for a safety inspection. Police say when they approached the semi-truck that Icorn was driving, they noticed a 7-year-old and a 16-month-old child inside the sleeper compartment of the truck, not properly secured. Police say through their investigation, they determined Icorn was operating the truck under the influence of methamphetamine. I spoke to Icorn from jail, and he says he was not on methamphetamine Thursday morning. I uh, not for the last two days. That's when I done it last, and I quit that. Icorn says he did take caffeine pills. I took the awake pills I bought at the pilot truck stop. Okay. I took eight of them that morning. You know. And this morning. Icorn was arrested and now he faces multiple charges. 27 year old Samantha Wittenberg, who Icorn says is his wife, was also arrested for endangering the welfare of a minor and public intoxication. Police say she is the mother of the two children who were inside the truck. Police tell us Samantha Wittenberg's two young children are now in the care of Child Protective Services. In Laurel County, Monique Blair for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. We spoke with the trucking company that Icorn was working for, Madero Trucking Express. They tell us he worked for them for two months and up until today was responsible. The company says Icorn was driving back from a job in Georgia to Louisville where he lives.